Welcome to the last video in the Curator Live video demo series. This is the page where you can customize the design and features on the microsite. First, select a design from the 10 different options across the top of the page. Next is the banner. This is a great place for your logo or the clients. Be sure to follow the suggested dimensions. You can make your banner clickable if you like. Just make sure to add the full URL here. Next is the color scheme. If you don't like the default options, then you can select other options from the color picker. Then there is the display information. You can uncheck any of these you do not want to show on the page. Next is the marketing block. You can add a Facebook-like pop-up here. You can add custom text and also a call to action button. The next block is for the buttons. You can turn on or off the public gallery here. This allows everyone to also see all other photos from the event. You can also turn off any of the sharing buttons from this page if needed. You can then adjust the sharing language in the next block. You can change who the email is from as well as the subject language. For the text message, you can customize the language that will precede the link to their image. Then, for Facebook and Twitter, you can also add custom language. Next, you can add a Facebook Pixel ID or Google Analytics Tracking ID. Then, you can password protect the gallery if needed. And finally, you have the option to back up to Dropbox if connected or the camera roll. Since this is the last block on the last page of the form, we can now click Finish and then Done on the following page to complete the setup. And that's it. The event is now ready to be activated and then downloaded to the iPad.